Yo, what is going on, everybody? I hope you guys are all feeling good today. I have an awesome video planned for you guys today. We've been going deep into the technicals and the research. I planned a fun video for you today. I'm going to show you a decode that I believe it's one of the most clear decodes out there, but so many people get it wrong. We're going to basically break down the 1988 economic cover, and we're going to show you what I believe the real truth of the symbolism behind this decode. And so many people have watched tons and tons of videos. You can see right here. Uh, so many people think this is the Phoenix, the Stellar XLM logo. I'm here to tell you it's actually the Cosmos logo. Now, Stellar does play a role. I'm going to show you how Stellar plays a role in this decode. But the heart of this decode is basically Cosmos. And I'll prove it in this video. Um, it's right in clear day, and so many people do not know about Cosmos. It's a big secret, so they've missed out on the decode. So this is a YouTube video. I've seen so many Twitter posts, so many YouTube videos where people are saying, uh, this is XLM. Um, you can see right here, you'll be shocked. This is XLM on this Phoenix coin, but let's look deeper. It's the Cosmos logo. Look right here. Very look very close, real quick. Look very close. There's a circle with a line going through it. It's the Cosmos logo. So many people have missed this decode. There are a few people that got this decode right, but in fact, it's the Cosmos logo. Um, this is a decode video, so of course, it's all speculation. But in my opinion, it's Cosmos. Uh, Juno uses the same. Juno is a smart contract hub of the Cosmos. It's a project building on the Cosmos SDK using Cosm Wasm community driven project uh, that was airdropped to cosmos stakers uh, last year and has the same logo so let me move my screen Let's look at this this it's the same exact logo from 1988 that's why i believe cosmos is a chosen project uh, now, if we look at these two, we look at this, you know, Stellar would slide right perfectly right between this line, right? So uh, the Cosmos logo could fit perfectly right between this slit. Uh, so Stellar does play a role, and I'll show you how it plays a role uh, in this video. Let me exit out. So this is uh, kind of the resources that I have. You can see again, a Cosmos logo, boom um get ready for a world currency um cosmos is going to be part of it i believe it's been in the works uh jay Kwan, ethan a bunch of people have been working on this since you know the early bitcoin days it's an og project that a lot of people aren't familiar with they were the first to uh basically start working on multi-chain bridging assets and more it's interoperability solution and uh, it's very uh, powerful uh, also if you look in this picture, there is cash burning on flyer in a Phoenix right here. Uh, February 22nd, the core consensus engine called Tendermint had a name change. They changed their name from Tendermint and they rebranded it to Ignite with a fire. This happened on February 22nd, 2022. Cosmos Builder Tendermint rebrands to Ignite as team shifts focus. There are different factions of the Cosmos founders. You can see Jay Kwan basically branched out and created a new Tendermint to battle for the soul of Cosmos. Ignite, which rebranded from Tendermint in February, will split into two entities, Ignite and New Tendermint. Uh, different, uh, Ignite is partners with World Economic Forum, and Jay Kwan is basically battling against uh, the centralized people of World Economic Forum. Um, long, long story that I won't go into, uh, in this video, but you guys should go, you know, read about that story. It's fascinating, but you know, it looks like cash is being ignited. And on February 22nd, uh, the cosmos builders, uh, rebranded themselves to ignite. So, um, if you look here, you could see that pendulum partners with e-money to connect European stable coins to DeFi, and they're excited to announce a partnership with e-money, a cosmos based payment platform that aims to bridge the legacy banking system with a single efficient blockchain layer. Look at the Pendulum logo also has that line and the e-money also has that line, just like uh, Cosmos. And what's important to know is that Stellar, um, they received a grant from Stellar to basically build Pendulum. See how it's all connecting now. 
And when I go and look deeper, you know, Stellar has changed their website, but before it used to be stars and constellations, uh, but they have all this Saturn stuff. So does Cosmos in their, in their basically um, artwork. But back in the day, Stellar used to be all like stars and the constellations. And they do call it XRP and Stellar intergalactic currency. So where would intergalactic currency possibly be able to flow through? Not the literal space. Maybe they meant the cosmos, intergalactic currency that flows through the cosmos. That's what makes sense to me after all these years of research. So you can see that Stellar has this Saturn stuff right here, the ring. That's exactly what Juno has. So Juno has the Saturn stuff all over his place. So, you know, will Stellar and Cosmos work together and become interoperable? I believe so. I think it's already happening. I just didn't have time to put the research together for you guys. I think this is enough to blow some minds today because so many people have been basically promoting that this is Stellar when it's actually Cosmos. Cosmos is a huge secret. As you know, Corium is using the Cosmos SDK to uh, build um, build um, the Corium uh, blockchain, which is going to be the fastest blockchain in the world, 1.7 second block time. And uh, the smart contracts are coming soon. So let's continue. Let me see what else I got. So, you know, it looks like these two will be interoperable, Cosmos and Stellar, and they're designed to work together. Um, we're early. This is a decode. So we're going to have to watch how it all plays out. If you love this type of content, if you love decodes, exploring deep into the esoteric side of crypto, one of my OG homies, one of my original friends, Kangspace, we actually, uh, before I ever started making YouTube videos, being Kangspace, were uh, in a group chat and we would always talk about crypto, politics, all types of stuff. And it's really exciting to see Kangspace is now has 5,500 followers on his account. So he's exploded. He's huge. I remember when he first made his Kangspace Twitter account. So this is a homie that I'm proud of. Real dude. Um, uh, we also do the Oro Gold together. We talked about Oro Gold. Uh, we've been around since the beginning. He used to come on the round table. If you guys have been watching my, used to watch my live interviews that I had with a bunch of guests. So he said, I'm going to chat with Zen Warrior this weekend about some current happenings. I'll give you a hint that Mr. Poole and Joel Katz know the secret sauce. Uh, we're going to be talking about liquidity pools coming to XRP Ledger. And uh, Kangspace is dope, dude. He is a renowned decoder. So he decodes like all the Mr. Poole posts and all that stuff. And he's going to be coming on tomorrow. And that video will be uploaded. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. And just a quick shout out. As you guys know, there's no YouTube ads on my video um, no sponsored content either it's all in-house uh, this is a self-funded channel uh, via my website so if you enjoy my videos and research uh, consider taking a step further with us by joining the collective get access to the website content and discord cord uh, the discord hub learn about DeFi, how to get airdrops consistently and deepen your knowledge on digital assets uh, so you know join my website the links are going to be in the description below if you're not ready to join the website yet, you might as well join the Telegram. It's a free Telegram group that you could join for broadcasts and alerts. And, uh, you know, I would look forward to having some of you guys join the Telegram and or potentially joining the actual collective. So um, see you guys tomorrow for my interview with Kingspace. It's going to be an epic one. We've been talking, texting back and forth. We've got so many different ideas flowing through us, what we want to talk about. And, uh, you know, he is going to bring some fire to the podcast. So everybody, uh, that's all I have for you today. What do you think about this decode? Is it on point or am I off target? Let me know in the comment section. Everybody have an awesome day and peace.